if we can just if we could just show what we do right before we come on. I wish you would. I always say, turn it on, turn it I on. Keep turn it. I was jumping on Tom about wearing breeches. When he wears jeans, he's going somewhere, and he swears well, he's not going anywhere. Today. He never just stands, right? No. So when he walks up to me like this, <laughs> yeah. I said, it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. <laughs> he's hungry. Because <laughs> he feels bad because we're not going to lunch, or I'm, yeah. I'm still working. And he's, we never go to lunch. We don't leave for lunch. And we'll lunch. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's so, it's so hey, funny. Hey, shoot my credit box there, see? Okay, well, see let me shoot that credit there? box. Look at that. Oh, Stuck yeah. back in a hole somewhere. I know. I love it. Mm. That is my home, and I absolutely love it. All right, so we're coming to you today, and we are going to show you the credit box, and we're putting a couple of them together right now. The The line is not ready or nothing. I'm just, we're just going to kind of show you what we're doing this morning i'm putting a couple credit boxes we are shooting for our may 21st to have 25 of them done we mm -hmm. got the one done it was 24 mm -hmm. and uh we got big plans for that to happen i love it raining i don't care if it rains it's oh like you don't care tropical. rain shine you don't care go um but we're going to tell you about our 12 by 20s we've had an outpouring of interest yes man. Over the weekend, a yeah. lot of emails, a lot of interest, a lot of people, they said, I'm in. And I've got a floor plan, yep. kind of an interior elevation I think you guys like. So yeah. let's go into our, now the building, our, our building is a little wet because we don't have our grid a cut across there. So when the water comes down and our gutters are not installed, we're waiting for our guy to install our gutters. I know. And then everything's flat. Everything got wet. So if water goes in, it goes in and it stays towards the middle. And it sure and it did. lingers in I there. Know. So, but. One thing okay. is not new and it's not dripping in That's there. That's right. It'll get there. Yeah. So we just got a couple guys in here. What we're doing is we're just kind of playing with this incredible box. I got three or four guys. Amanda needs to get one ready to decorate. Yes. So we're going to get this one up and done here in the next couple of days, get it set up. But while we're doing that, we're setting up. Kind of let me give you an idea of our, right? We'll go through kind yeah, of how exactly. the incredible box is going to mm -hmm. be built. Right. So this big 12 foot door, we're gonna roll, we're gonna roll one in. I'm gonna show you our little, our little uh, two wheeler cart that we got to move around the home. Oh, yeah. So this home will be here. That's our rack for our plywood, which is our, our pan that we have. And this is half inch pressure treated plywood. It's gonna be pre cut to notch around all the all the wheel wells, and it'll be standing up here, and it'll be pre pre cut and ready to go. Then we tack con it inside the steel. Then as it moves down here, we got a saw down here that you guys are cutting the floor joists, getting them ready. We had to turn the radio off. So, so we go from, from the sheeting. Mm -hmm. This is where the floor joists will be. And as the floor joists go on, we put our foam panels in. So we got a stage and that's gonna be turned this way. This is just sitting here right now, but we're gonna have floor joists, saws, and foam. And two guys will go boom, 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 and put them on. And then we put our flashing on. And then it's ready to go. We, we just spray foaming in here. So each section is going to take about, probably that's going to be no more than about 15 minutes. Wow. We're going to try to get this down in about 30 minutes right here. Yeah. <clears throat> and then we'll turn this little house here. It'll turn and go this way. And over here is our plumbing station. So let me okay. show you this, Amanda. Hey, Billy. So this is our plumbing station. In our plumbing, you've got this, this is a template that we can use. We showed this on a previous show. So the template's gonna be built. This is exactly what the house will look like. Wow. These holes are drilled, they're measured, look. So one guy will learn to do all this right here. As he builds these up, then we're just gonna set them. So what we've done is each section has got different lengths of pipe. And that's what these little boxes over here are for. I love it. Look at your wall right here. Isn't that beautiful? Did Lucas do that? Yeah, Lucas, him that's, and I went through it and he made it out on, on the so wall. That's great. So here is going to be have little stickers and we're going to have it 17, Bent. 18, 22, 44. That's great. And you just take your pipes out that you need. Yes. To build this drain system. Oh, that's so great. And then here's our water system. What I like about this is you have the red and there's only... Man, there's only two fittings. And here there's only two fittings. And the rest of it, well, there's, oh, I'm sorry, there's two because you got to, um, you have your toilet down here mm -hmm. and your feed goes out. So there's four fittings on one, two on the other, 
and we can just pile them up, so stack them. Now yes. this guy here, he's already done all the plumbing. Now he can come back over here and he'll take this floor system that's parked right here and he can drill all the holes for the plumbing and for the electrical. Mm -hmm. And so now he can install all his electrical plumbing. So if that's already that's done, great. this guy, as soon as them floor joists are coming, he's drilling, putting it in, done. And I can see that you're shelving, how you've got the shelving already set up with all the, the stuff. That's for all the plumbing. This is gonna be electrical over here. That's this great. is our electrical cart. So now as oh. soon as, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this done where that, this, and the plumbing, and then we go to electrical. We want to be here by an hour and a half. An hour and a half. Because That's then we great. want to wire it in 30 minutes. Okay. So then the house will yeah. be turned this way. Okay. Facing down the road. Another section. And this is where we wire it. So we'll take our cart with our wire. Mm -hmm. It takes, um, we put a thousand foot roll of 12-2 wire on there. Okay. And we wire this. It takes 250 feet. Okay. To wire a house. Oh wow, 250 feet. Of wire, yep. So we, and wire is expensive. We, it is expensive. Whoa. So we run all our wiring, and this is the beginning of one. So let me show you right here. Now this is called an SO cord. SO. Yeah, and it is copper, and it's thick, it's expensive, and the last time it was about eight bucks a linear foot. How much is it now? I don't even want to know. I didn't even ask. Wow. John yet. I know it's hot. Then we've got this plug here, and this is the RV plug. Okay. Now, we put it here instead of under the house like other homes. Mm -hmm. It's just more convenient to run it horizontally mm -hmm. in here for us. And also, I like it because the water heater, I mean, the water line and sewer line, you want to hide them, yes. right? Right. This one here, it's just a plug-in. Okay. And if we do our solar, this works perfect for our solar. Okay. Now this is for your solar later on. Mm -hmm. So we pre-wire this for solar. Always. This will have a box over it. It'll mm -hmm. all be, it's like a junction box. So if somebody wants solar, they just set it on it. Okay. Plug it up and it's done. Okay. So as you can see, this is where the hard pipe in. This is one of our sections. See how it goes here? Whole, whole. Worked perfect. Wow. Yeah. There's only one slight variation we're going to start. Is this open end pipe down there is for your shower. Okay. We're going to get okay. that to where it is exactly where it needs to be. So okay. when we do our shower, we put our drain. It has to be exactly a certain length pipe on the bottom of our shower mm -hmm. drain. And we just set it right on top. Okay. And we're done. Awesome. So we're working that way. Wow. Um, then as you, as you wire it, plumb it and everything, then we can put our sheeting down. On okay. Mm -hmm. And then from here, we'll go straight to our here. wall assembly. Okay. So... This morning, we're just kind of playing around with it, getting the walls up. We're going to have on the side here, this will be our assembly of our walls. Okay. On the wall, on, on this end, we'll have your left wall and end wall, right wall, end wall assembly. Oh, good. And they'll okay. cut out the hole for the windows, mm -hmm. the doors, put the doors and windows and trim them all out. And then when we grab them, we can just put them up. Okay. Yeah. Wow. One thing that didn't work was my magnet. They didn't work. It didn't work, man. Are they not strong enough? Is that what the deal yeah, is? it's just weird. It was like, they're bent or heavy. They're like 30 pound and magnets. And they would not work. And it slid right off. Yeah. Well, sugar. Yep. So we got to figure something out on that. Yeah. So we've got a rigging over here right now. And this is what we've done. I was going to say, so how do you lift them up? Well. Hey, Aaron. Hey. I've said hi to you like three times this morning. My God. Why? <laughs> he said, I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> so you just well, hook it I up just, right I just, I just sandwiched this together. Mm -hmm. and So now we've got wood on both ends. We run a bolt through it. Yeah. And then the holes inside here will be covered with our flange that goes around and mm -hmm. laminates the houses together, you know, the wall and the ceiling yeah. together. So it'll be hidden. I don't care, really care for this right now, but it's How something that... It's something, it's a, uh, yeah, I hate to have to get end. up there and pull the screws out and all that no. stuff, but it's, it's, it'll well, be fine. Well, but something else will come along. Oh, yeah, yeah, then yeah. We'll find something else. We're eventually going to get an overhead crane system. Sure. And it'll be, you know, on a cord and remotely yeah. controlled, and we can grab it and silk That's it and go and all that. That's disappointing, though. That's, I hate that because that was like an exciting thing, the magnets. And I'm going to call the company and see if they have some other type of, you know, magnet sure. that we could use. Mm -hmm. Now, look, this is our new saw, which I love this. Isn't that space age looking saw? Oh, wow. Isn't Milwaukee. That cool. Yep. It's a little heavy, but it's a metal cutting blade. Mm hmm. 
and it keeps all the, the shards, the shards are flying all over oh, the place. That's great. So this is really a nice setup. I hadn't really heard of Milwaukee. Is Milwaukee um, a product at Lowe's or where does it? Home Depot. Home Depot. Okay. But they're not owned by Home Depot. Home Depot, Home Depot just sponsors sell them. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Milwaukee's a really nice tool. They've been around a long time? Really nice tool. Yeah. Milwaukee. It's a step above DeWalt. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what Dwight gets for not sponsoring that's us. That's exactly right. I'm fixing to go with Milwaukee. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Yep, I'd okay. love to. Well, but yeah, this, here we go. We got the roof system, everything. The guys. How long did this take? I were, you know what? We are not in a hurry. You're not in a hurry. We yes. didn't get going until about probably an hour and a half, two hours ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're just we're just taking our time and getting the system that's down right. so mm -hmm. we don't make any mistakes. Let me show as this we go. side of it with the door. Yeah. Go over here. Oh, and this has got your little truck thing that you were going to show. Yeah, so this is what moves the houses around. That's yep. exciting. So we can just take that and pull, pull the house down the line, leave it hooked up, pull it, pull it, pull it, till it's right on down now the line. Now that did work out good, yeah. so that's great. And we may have to probably get three or four more of these okay. so we can pull every house together down the line. Well, I'm going to tell you something that I feel like is super exciting is that I, I feel like that you have a lot of room to do many sections like this yeah like there's you can do a lot i want a lot of room because we don't know yes. really what we're going to be involved now think about it there's there's five steps that i'm trying to get this house built in yes mm -hmm. that all that we talked about this morning up mm -hmm. to the sheeting on the floor is one step one step right even though there's probably four inside that one okay but from there then we do our walls exterior walls mm -hmm. and next will be our ceiling or our roof system that's going to be one step right okay then we're going to get into as soon as that everything's up we put our shower in mm -hmm. and we hook it into the drain and then we put our floor system in right so we put our vinyl floor in right away mm -hmm. then we put our interior walls which is our bathroom and our loft while that's going on we have a system down here that where our kitchen is being assembled mm -hmm. countertops the sink and the drain and the in the uh, faucet mm -hmm. and the toilet yeah and they're being assembled exciting and then we put them in anchor them down and that's what i love about the incredibox is there's no finishings except for the base mm -hmm. and now we got a section of woodworking over here we got the bases being built for the electrical so at the very end down there we're putting in our bases covering up all the caulking some things doing our checks doing our mm -hmm. cleaning and then doing our ANSI certification and then we make sure everything's perfect and then it goes out the door I so if we it. can do five steps like that in 10 hours in a 10 hour day we got one house gone mm -hmm. and if we do it every two hours hopefully theoretically i like to have a house coming out of there every two hours sure awesome so that's right. what we're looking at that right. is great so we're getting closer i want to show you this is the incredibox this is we're excited about yep. what's going on we're taking mm -hmm. our time this is not the official you know assembly line that we're working this on. This is right just here. the beginning. It's just the beginning. And we already have, probably want to touch base on the first one that's gone. A good report. It's in, all the way in Seattle, Washington. It made it, he, uh, um, Matt said it just pulled wonderful. Yeah. You know, so yeah. He said the faster he went, the better it pulled. Really? Yeah. Because it's, it's eight by 16, of yeah, course. Eight by 16. And like I said, the window leaked on the way there when she mm -hmm. got it because it just took so much pounding. And the window is just a regular window. Yeah. All right. So it was coming. He was doing 75 miles an hour during a really heavy rain, and it mm -hmm. came into the actual, the physical window itself, mm -hmm. not where it was leaking or anything. But right. um, she. Uh, so what was the suggestion? I think you said it in the video the other day. Yeah. But if someone is going to travel with it, yeah. What is a suggestion? I that, think for I that? would love to look into it, but it really needs an RV window there. An RV window. Yeah. Okay. If you're going to travel. Yeah. Okay. Because. Because it was torrential sideways rain. That's how it well, got it was, in there. It, it was the truck and yes. the house, and it was just pounding like that, that pounding. thing. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. so. Which doesn't happen whenever you're sitting still and living in your home. And you know what I like too? What? Is that it's an all steel house. Yes. Waterproof flooring. Yep. It's just awesome. So durable. Yeah. And that's what I love about it, you know? Awesome. Okay. All right. Are you ready to talk about Are we going to do this now? Yeah, we'll go to it next. All right, so behind me is this field that we had. We put so much dirt on here. As you can see, it has poured the rain and hardly any water has laid on this. So it's just gently slopes down towards the creek down there. This is where we're gonna put our next development. Mm -hmm. This is where we're gonna put the 12 by 20 homes on here. 
we think we're going to care, probably get between 60 to 70 home sites on here. So there you have it. I know it's not much to look at. It's just a piece of dirt. But boy, when we get done with it, we're going to put a big tree line between the building oh, and us. Yeah. Put another tree line between the beach access area. You see all the beach homes. Mm -hmm. And over there is the forest homes. And we're just going to put a perimeter of trees and mm -hmm. shrubs. We'll do that as we develop. Mm -hmm. the, those developments there, we didn't put it in the financing. Mm -hmm. This one, I've already allotted some uh, you know, landscaping, and that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. So I, it's going to look really nice. All right? Yeah. So let's go in. It's raining a little bit. Let me go inside, and I'll show you the floor plan and how it flows. I love this floor plan. All right. All right. So now we're in the office. Showed you kind of the little field that these are going to be built in. That's the last of land left here on our original 34 acres. Now, I had kept that land, thought I'd put a big Victorian, not a Victorian, a Vermont barn out there and a lot of plants and stuff. But listen, things have changed. I, just, I can't get over how many people need a place to live. You know, we are bombarded with, I need a place, I need a place. And that's turned into really the big mission here, you know. And I thought about, you know, the gardening and all that. There is a lot of land if people want to garden and want to grow stuff. I just don't think it's that popular, you know. Um, I know people want to do gardening. I know we plowed up some fields last week, a couple sections, you know, and it wasn't used all that well, but I know it was a new thing. Homes are more important. I shouldn't say we got to eat too, but this is not a source of income. We're not a self-producing community where you grow all your own food, you know. But we do have a lot of other areas. People are all over the country wanting they to put are. a tiny home somewhere, and they yes. can't do it because of regulation, zoning, codes, yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand it because we're building too ANSI and NFPA and yes. all these other things. It's just a mess. It's a political mess it I think is. that's in. So we're in a beautiful Cock County, Tennessee mm -hmm. yep. that have no restrictions. They absolutely love what we're doing and they're helping us add these communities to us. So we have, I don't know, it's probably maybe two acres, mm -hmm. you know, and on the two acres, we're going to build as many homes as we can shove on there. Mm -hmm. You know, when I first started in the forest, I thought I want to make the lots big and I don't want to be like just a tight trailer park, you know? I thought I'd make them really, really large, and they are. They are they are bigger. They're nice. And then, it, they're nice. And then we went on the beach, and we made it smaller because mm -hmm. that's the environment. And then on the on the prairie, they're more almost the same size as in the forest. Right. But I'm not sure that it made any difference. Mm -hmm. I don't either. You know, I'm not sure that they're 10 or 15 foot wider made any difference. So. There's no trees, there's no bunkers, there's nothing like that going on. Even if there were... Well, I'm, the tiny house needs to match a tiny yard. So yeah. it's like you don't want to have a great big, you know, 10-acre uh, farm with a tiny house. The whole thing is minimal living. And um, people are doing a great example out here right now. And I can't wait till we can show some of the yards. Yeah. We need to do a lot They've, of uh, videos on that. Yep. They are surrounding themselves by their own fencing, yep. their own trees, their own bushes, and it is such a cute... And each one of them are individual oh, looking. And I yes. thought, well, you know, I thought one time, I thought, well, what if we all have uniformity, uh, the same types of fences and mm -hmm. stuff? I don't know if that would have been a good idea or not. Yeah. And I like the different ones. And everybody's using good quality products, looking well, you know, and I know some of the homes have got some building materials and some mm -hmm. things are outside the house. We're all under construction. I'm still we under are. construction. So we're going to allow that for a little bit longer. And once it's all, everybody's settled in and we got underpinning and stuff and skirting, I think it's going to look beautiful. Absolutely. It will. It will look great. So in this, you know, about two acres, two and a half acres, we're going to try to put about 70 home sites on mm -hmm. there. Yeah. I had it set for almost 80 because it's just a grid. You know, it's just a square. And it's like, you know, the lots are going to be cut like this. And you got a road coming through here, and then the lots will be back to back. You know, so you got lots like this. This is the road. It'll stop. You got lots and lots on the back side of that, right? And Just real the, simple. Uh, show and then where another the beach road. Is. Where's it? And at? the beach is right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And here's the forest. And okay. then you got, you know, you got more lots right here, and then behind them lots, you got more lots. You got this, and then another road, and then lots like that. Okay. So it's just a a road, a road. And, or a street, you know, it's just a street. And these lots are on each side. And it's a grid. But it allows for the most living on that piece of property, mm -hmm. you know. Right. So, I think, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of personality and what it's going to look like. 
and how it can look nice. But, you know, we're going to put trees all the way around. Here's our big building that we have right now. And so we're going to put trees all along here. And I'll have an entrance coming in here. And each house, what I like is kind of like, um, I didn't bring my eraser, did I? So let me see if I can just take that off there. You see that, Amanda? I thought we had one in here. Right? Rawr! <laughs> All right, so if this is a lot like this, right? And you got another lot like this. Let's just say this is the street. Mm -hmm. We're going to take your house and put it like this. There'll be a little bit of room. Like just a little bit, probably two, three feet on each side. Now, there's no property lines. Right. All right, so you don't have those lines. Right. But we have to have something to go by. There's your trailer or your hitch. Then you're going to pull in right here. Here's your door that swings in, and you can have a nice porch right here. Mm -hmm. Now, people are asking about sheds. If we do a shed, it's going to be one right here. Yeah. And it's not going to be a big shed. These are mm -hmm. small lots, small sheds. The sheds are probably only going to be... Four foot by six foot, something small like that. Right. We are not going to allow any large sheds, the same size shed mm -hmm. across this entire project. Right. All right. This has really got to be uniform. And you got to understand, here's another house right here. Right? Like that. And then you can have a shed, and here's your parking. Mm -hmm. Right? And then here's the door to your house. Here's a deck. So, and if you're wanting, you know, um, there's just one one car mm -hmm. per place. These are small lots. So this lot is actually only going to be about 25 so feet mm -hmm. here. And then from here, we're looking at probably 40. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Now, the beach was about that. Right. And it, when you're in here, now there's no windows, and I'll show you the floor plan. There's no windows on three sides of the house. Mm -hmm. Only windows is right here and right here. Mm -hmm. looks out right so this was a, a different design that we thought and you know these are 12 foot wide homes mm -hmm. and they're 20 foot long and I love this floor plan I'm about to show you but I think that'll lay out and you got this nice area here for a yard mm -hmm. and done and then that's the street now behind you you've got this one and then there's another street right mm -hmm. right there so if I take that out, just to give you a visual, here, tongue, like that. Mm -hmm. Here's your going to be a parking. Here's your door, right? Here's your yard, same thing. That's your car. That's a car, man. You know that. <laughs> that's a car. Those are wheels. Yeah. But you go funny. here. Yep, and here's your door. And I'm guessing everybody's tongue box will be facing the same way because all the houses will be facing. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll go that way. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, there's, and there's, so there's no windows here, yeah. here, or here. Mm -hmm. You know, this is about four feet right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm saying, I don't know if it'll be 20. You know, you're going to be backed up right to that tongue here to here. And all your living is out front. Yes. So... Everybody, I know that that's tight, and I'm like, okay, so what if I said, all right, we're going to take this, and you're going to make it 10 foot more, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to make the lots bigger like that, right? right. And now you got a house here, right? I'm just saying, right there. And now you got, what, about 7 to 10 foot here, instead of 2 or 3. Mm-hmm. The only thing I know that you're going to put on there, if you're you're still close, you're still at privacy. Mm -hmm. I don't want any big sheds in here. I want it mm -hmm. to all look so you can't fill it with a big shed. You can't fill it with a deck. Here's your barbecuing and stuff. I mean, I just don't know what else. You know, if you add right. five or ten more feet to a lot, you're going to lose out on about a ten or fifteen more homes mm -hmm. if you put all these together. Right. And what's it really gaining you? Mm -hmm. You know, because what we're trying to do is we're trying to show that you're living is out on your porch right and it's out here yeah in your yard and your car and everything this is not for everybody if you're wanting a home that you've got you want to have land and you want to have a big area for a garage and you want to grow and you want to have all that, this is not for you mm -hmm. this is a home 
that's almost like a row house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, in the city. It's like a row house. But you still get some lawn, a nice deck, and the biggest thing is your home. It's well, 12 foot wide. And two, in front of your house, you can put a beautiful raised bed. You can put your... Oh, um, yeah. Uh, your table and chairs and with an umbrella and all that kind of stuff sitting outside. Uh, all kinds of things. So, in, you, in your all's comments, if you will, this is just the way it's going to be. Yes. All right? This is just the lots. If you don't want to be here, man, that's great. It's not for everybody. What I'd like to know is, hey, everybody, how can we make this work? Yeah. Have some imagination. Let's have some fun with it. And let's see where we can go with it, mm -hmm. right? So, that's what we got. Um, I'll leave this out a little bit more. You know, if you take the width of a car, let's say, what is that, about eight feet? It's really, the car's not eight. You get two foot, so that's 10. That leaves you 15 feet from here to here. Okay. Right? If you put a deck out here that's four foot, um, from this point to this point, it's got 14, and it's 40. What's 40 minus 14? It's three, one, 26 feet. From here to here, it's 26 feet, right? So that's a long 15 by 26 if you take about a four to eight foot deck. Um, so you got 15 foot wide mm -hmm. right there, leaving your car right here. Right. Right. And you can walk over in this area too, which is going to be about four or five foot. You're going to have that you walk in here. Yeah. There. Okay. So, so now the, you're doing the layout? It's like a, yeah, this is like a, well, this is like a city, yeah. a city street. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, you want to do the floor plan? Yeah. Now, let me show you the floor plan. I'm going to do like I do normally on our website. And Let's I'll let you here. guys first see it. And you guys this can take a... This is the a, first time it's been shown. You can take a snapshot of that. Yep. Then I'm also going to show you an interior elevation okay. real quick here. Mm -hmm. I love this interior love elevation. Love it. Yeah. Now, this is just the bedroom, bathroom interior elevation. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So Got let's it. do the floor plan. Ah, so, and I like drawing these out for you guys. Now, listen, I'm drawing a, a rectangle and it's not to scale. So I'm hoping I can fit everything in here. Mm -hmm. The bathroom is 48. I'm going to put it on the side. It's 48 inches inside to inside. And I'm not putting the thickness of the walls or nothing. So you got 48. And in here, the bed is 90 inches inside to inside. All right. So if you do a full size bed, which is 54 inches wide, right? 54 minus 90, so 90 minus 54. What does that mean? Come on. A 20, uh, 26. Dog get my homework. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 26 divided by two. So you got 13 inches on each side of your bed, right? Mm -hmm. And so that gives you, if that's a, and a lot of people may have a twin bed. If you have a twin bed, mm -hmm. you're going to have, have more, more room. But if you wanted to, this is your bed. Mm -hmm. You can put a little closet on each end of, the, of your bed. Nightstand closet, about a foot wide. You can hang something there. And if you don't have a full, it will fit a queen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it'll, mm -hmm. fit a king, it'll fit a king size it'll bed. It'll fit a king size bed. 84 inches. And that that would be perfect. A couple inches on each side right mm -hmm. here. I don't mind going wall to wall. I don't need to walk alongside my bed. Mm -hmm. Some people like that, but it allows you to do that. It just makes it easier for making up the bed. 90 inches, right? Mm -hmm. 90 inches from finish wall to finish wall. Wow. Now, here's your shower, right? 36 inch shower. Yeah. And then because this is 48, you get just a little cubby in there and we're just leaving it open. To do what you want. You can to put shelves. It. You can put anything you want. Remember, this is an Incredibox. This is all panel, metal, steel panel, mm -hmm. home. Okay. And then you're going to have your uh, toilet here mm -hmm. and an actual vanity. Nice. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Now the door is here, and then you get your kitchen that runs the whole length of this. Yes, very nice. So on the kitchen, we're going to put your fridge right here. Right? And then I've got a 15 inch cabinet. I got a 30 inch cabinet. Mm -hmm. I got a 24 inch cabinet. And this is left over and it's a little bit big. It's actually like uh, another 36 inches here. But I'm going to put here is your washer and dryer. Okay. And then here's your sink. And this is a 15 inch cabinet, a 24 inch cabinet with a cooktop. Mm -hmm. And that's going to include it in your house. 
Okay. And then here's a, um, oh, this whole thing is just one 36 inches from here to here. Mm -hmm. So you got, what I like about this, this actually, if you put 24 in here, this gives you about 15, 16 inches here. It could be a pull-out pantry, mm -hmm. something you buy. Now this can be not, it can be all left open, right? I'm going to bring the countertop all the way to here. I was wanting to go all the way to this, probably, I'll probably go all the way to here, Amanda, with the mm -hmm. countertop. Okay. And what let's, what's left over is about 26 inches for a washer and dryer. Now you okay. can have it stackable. If it's stackable, you put it there. If you want it under the counter, it's even better because now you've got a pantry mm -hmm. or closet above your washer and dryer. Okay. So now we got closet here, potential closet and washer and dryer right there. Well, and something I want to mention, and I, you may have been about to, is that there's no windows on that wall. So you can put all the shelving and cabinets. Yeah. No windows want. along that wall or this wall. Plenty of storage. Or this wall. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. You're going to say, wow, God, it's going to be dark in there. It's not. It's not going to be dark. No. no you're going to be great. Now, in here in the living room. All right. So the living room is you have your door. It's a 36-inch door. And this gives us enough room all the way across here for a, a full-size sofa, right? Full-size sofa. Now, believe it or not, I put the water heater right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to box that in really nice. And that can be a closet in the corner. That can be a nightstand. Whatever you need right here. Isn't that neat? Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to put it under here or yeah. in here. There's not enough room there. I didn't want to take any of the kitchen storage up. So the best thing... Oh, and... I'm going to put a course plug here. Great place for a TV that can tilt, look this way, or it can be look all the way from the bed. You can see your TV. Sure. Now remember, yeah. this house is 20 foot long, right? Mm -hmm. So this area here is 8 feet, right? What's 8 minus 20, Amanda? One, 16. Boom. 16. Or 12. Or something. <laughs> or something. So you get 12 feet, right? So you get 12 foot. Between the bed and here. So watching the TV, because you have a big TV. Yeah. And TV place here, 12 foot. So you know you've got 36 inches is for your door. Mm -hmm. So 36, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that gives you 9 feet between here and here. That gives you plenty of room for a really large 72 inch sofa. Mm -hmm. So my biggest, I don't know, love of this plan that I think is, let me leave these numbers for everybody to look at. Eight and then uh, three, and then nine. What I like about, was that right? Nine, 10, 11, 12, and eight, yep. What I like about this is that you have a living room, bedroom, right? Bathroom, and kitchen area. Yes. This also, can you put a table here to eat at? Uh, it's, it's very functional, man. Well, I love it that feet. you created two rooms. That's yeah. so rare. Yeah. That in, because, you know, in the uh, 8x16, it is just one room. Your bedroom and your living room is all the same. You have created two rooms here. The one thing I want us to, to make sure that we uh, let people know mm -hmm. is there's not a bathroom door, if you want to explain that. Yeah. It's just like the Incredibox. Mm -hmm. You know, we're limited on space. On space yes. and amenities, we're trying to keep the price down. So mm -hmm. this right here, of course, this is going to be, you can put a barn door up later if you like. You can put, I'll leave a room between that refrigerator and that wall if you want to put a barn door. Uh, curtain, anything, that's, remember this is an Incredibox. Yeah. It's not painted on the inside. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you a list of amenities that's included in the house that we'll provide. And what we'll be providing is, you know, we'll paint the outside, right? Paint the exterior. Mm -hmm. We're going to skirt the outside. I want the outside completely finished because yes. if you all get in there and you don't ever finish the inside, which you don't have to, mm -hmm. then outside it looks nice. Exactly. All right. And we'll come up with the color paints that we can offer. Sure. Stuff, okay. Skirting that, there'll be a deck and some other things. But right now, this is just a splash. We've got 31 people inquire about this. Yes. And we're looking at it as a 59.9. Mm -hmm. And that's what, we're, that's what we're asking. And that's the lot, the home. A leased lot, mm -hmm. a home, 12 by 20, vinyl flooring, every, you know, all this stuff. But We'll put all the details yeah. on the website. We're going to build a model. Mm -hmm. It'll be built here hopefully in the next couple, three weeks. We're going to put it out here so you can see it. Exciting. This is a model. We love the Incredibox because we can build them efficiently, quick, and give you guys an idea of really what's going on. All right? Yeah. So, hope you like this. Give us a call. Email us. Send smoke signals. <laughs>
<laughs> Let us know what you think. All right? All right. Thanks, everybody. All right. Bye.